Hi, Vince. Hi, oh. Hello beautiful Angular people, I'm Shai Rezik from HiRes.io and today we're going to talk about how to better prepare your code for Angular 2.0. Prepare for NG2. And in today's video, which is part one of our video series, we are going to compare the current Angular code structure to the future Angular code structure. So enjoy the show. Okay, let's start. For our demonstration, we will use a silly example app of a dashboard showing the naked people playing Tetris versus the peanut butter sales. Really, really, really true research. No! This app will also be featured in later videos, so get used to it. Our app is very simple. It contains only two main components, a template and a controller. The template is not that interesting right now. So what we actually need to look at is the controller. So let's view it and more specifically its code structure. So this is the controller. It's very simple. It's not that long as you can see. And I'm using a naming convention to give my components a namespace separated by dots. And to make it more interesting, let's inject a data service or a DAO, which means data access object, which is a common name for services that communicate with the server. So we added our full namespace of our service. Now we need to include it here in our function. And now I will add just a bunch of gibberish for now, okay? Just so we'll have the layout. Don't worry about this code. You only need to look at the layout. And if you notice, do you see that its shape slightly remind us of a pyramid, right? Yeah, this is called the Pyramid of Doom. And all of our code is moving to the right with every function we declare. So a good practice is to keep our code indentation as low as possible and to avoid these pyramids of do. So this is the controller. This looks like a basic Angular 1 code structure, depending on your style of code, of course, but more or less. Now let's have a glimpse of how things will look like in the future. So in the future, we will write our code in ECMAScript 6. ECMA what? That's right, ECMAScript 6 or ES6, which is the next version of JavaScript. These days, ECMAScript 5 is the current version of JavaScript that we all know and love. Well, love is a big word. But back to ES6. So as part of the ECMAScript 6 spec, there are two new features which are called classes and modules. They are awesome and great and have many advantages, but for now all you need to know is that when you use them, you keep your code cleaner and you avoid the pyramids of do. Let's see some examples, shall we? Especially we'll see how classes and modules can make our code structure flat. So the first example is of an ECMAScript 6 syntax. Don't worry if you don't understand it yet. The syntax is less important now. What's more important is the code structure and the layout. So I'll just point out the use of module here to import our statistics DAO and the use of class here instead of a function. And in a later video, we will see how to write them properly. But for now, I want you to notice that right from the start, you can see that the new code structure is already very flat with almost no indentation. Now let's go over to another example. Another example? Yes, this time of an Angular 2.0 code. The code is from a Gita project, which is the proposal for the new dependency injection mechanism for Angular 2.0. If you don't know what dependency injection is, you are more than welcome to see my lecture about it, which should be here now, if I will edit. Back to the code. So as you can see, there isn't much of a difference between this code and the last example of ES6 because it's the same syntax. 
except for this part, which is the dependency injection. You're probably looking at this example thinking, no, what is happening? But again, don't worry if you don't understand the syntax yet, it doesn't matter for now. I want you to notice how flat this code looked like compared to the Angular 1 code example we saw in the beginning of this video. So this is much nicer and makes our code very read that ball what are you doing? so this was a brief look at how code will look like in the future if it won't look like this in the future you can blame it all on me just kidding <laughs> so today we saw an example of today's angular code structure compared to the future angular code structure and this was part one and in part two, we'll take a closer look at the Angular style guide and see how it helps us making our first step towards a cleaner, more future-ready code structure. So this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, like it and share it to your Angular friends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I am personally super psyched about Angular 2.0 getting here as soon as possible. If you want to see more cool videos about Angular and client-side development, make sure you join HiRes.io and subscribe to the channel and see my other videos about client-side development. Cool, thanks and see you next time.